The Lion and Albert. There's a famous seaside place called Blackpool that's noted for fresh air and fun. And Mr. and Mrs. Ramsbottom went there with young Albert, their son. A grand little lad was young Albert, all dressed in his best, quite a swell, with a stick with an horse's head handle the finest that Woolworths could sell. They didn't think much to the ocean, the waves they was fiddling and small. There was no wrecks and nobody drowned. fact, nothing to laugh at at all. So, seeking for further amusement, they paid and went into the zoo, where they'd lions and tigers and camels and old ale and sandwiches too. There were one great big lion called Wallace. His nose were all covered with scars. He lay in a somnolent posture with the side of his face on the bars. Now Albert had heard about lions, how they was ferocious and wild, to see Wallace lying so peaceful, well, it didn't seem right to the child. So straightway the brave little fella, not showing a morsel of fear, took his stick with his horse's head handle and pushed it in Wallace's ear. You could see that the lion didn't like it, for giving a kind of a roll, he pulled Albert inside the cage with him and swallowed the little lad whole. Then Pa, who had seen the occurrence and didn't know what to do next, said, Mother, you're lions at Albert. And Mother said, Well, I am vexed. Then Mr. and Mrs. Ramsbottom quite rightly, when all said and done, complained to the animal keeper that the lion had eaten their son. The keeper was quite nice about it. He said, what a nasty mishap. Are you sure that it's your boy he's eaten? Pa said, am I sure? There's his cap. The manager had to be sent for. He came and he said, What's to do? Pa said, Young lions at Albert, and him in his Sunday clothes too. Then mother said, Right's right, young fella. I think it's a shame and a sin for a lion to go and eat Albert, and after we paid to come in. The manager wanted no trouble. He took out his purse right away, saying, How much to settle the matter? And Pa said, What do you usually pay? But Mother had turned a bit awkward. When she thought where her Albert had gone, she said, No, someone's got to be summonsed. So that was decided upon. Then off they went to the police station, in front of the magistrate chap, they told him what had happened to Albert and proved it by showing his cap. The magistrate gave his opinion that no one was really to blame and he said that he hoped that Ramsbottom would have further sons to their name. At that, mother got proper blazing and thank you, sir, kindly, said she. What waste all our lives raising children to feed ruddy lions, not me.